so what is resonance? Uh, resonance is another part uh, of your filter, and, and it's represented by Q. Uh, I'm not sure what Q means, but it's resonance. Um, and what it is is kind of a feedback at the point of your cutoff. So you'd have you know your cutoff here, right? And now uh, that shaves off uh, uh, the higher frequencies. We're using uh, low pass filters from now on. Right? Shaving off the harmonics. Right? And uh, what the filter, what the, the resonance does is it boosts uh, the frequency before you cut off. Right? So adding more kind of harmonics and it changes the shape of the oscillator. So we went from a saw to something with a bit more character using uh, feedback at the cutoff point basically. So think of a filter as kind of shaping, uh, you know, your fun stuff. Shaping your sound. Um, there, there's different. Uh, there's obviously different filters. So you can have just the upper harmonics and boost a particular harmonic that you're into. Right. Very weird uh, kind of sounds. Right. To add a layer, you can also uh, band pet or yeah, band pass. Right, or you can uh, kind of band reject. You can see what it's doing to the the shape of the sound, uh, the wave. Um, so you're basically turning uh, simple primitive uh, oscillators into more complex uh, oscillators um, that you might get. You know, from a, a wave, um, from a wave table, you're shaping it into something new. Uh, also, a little trick: you can use a high pass filter, boost the resonance, and uh, kind of boost your bass. You're adding a, a sine sinusoidal wave to it. So you're adding a sine wave effectively with just a filter. Um, and this isn't an oscillator, it's just shaping your sound. Uh, I wanted to get into quickly self-oscillation. You can uh, feed back uh, so much that uh, the sound will turn into a sine wave. Uh, so you can use filters to turn something into a sine wave, or you can use, a re you can use it in the opposite way to do it. Um, uh, self-oscillation is kind of a, an analog phenomenon. And it's just by boosting the resonance to extreme values. Right? And uh, that is just use, using resonance to the extreme. Uh, and it's kind of fun to do on analog equipment because it's a little sporadic. Right, and you can do some cool sounds. Um, and yeah, that is uh, resonance and self oscillation. Um, don't know what else to say. So, yeah, just explore with resonance. You can do some pretty neat things with filters. Filters are basically the building block of everything. Uh, and they're just as important, uh, and they're often overlooked. Uh, and yeah, top dollar. All right, I'll be back with some more cool stuff.